Hello guys, welcome to another video from the People's Pond. Uh, we've got another giveaway today um, in conjunction with uh, Elite Koi. I'll put their website down here just so you can check out, check them out. Um, I've bought the Aquasource Resolve Blanket Weed just because I have been battling that. So do check this out product. It's made in Britain. And uh, this comes very, very highly recommended. Uh, Elite from Elite Koi. Elite Koi is um, a, koi a koi dealer, sorry stuttering and I haven't done it for so long. It's um, Eli Koi is a Koi dealer based up in Grimsby. They've got a WhatsApp group, which I'm a part of. Uh, they do Koi auctions on the Band app. I will try and put that in the description box, a link for that, so you can join. You do get some bargains. People have one Koi for like five, six pounds. Like good quality Koi, which has been quite good. I've purchased this one, but Chris has been kind enough to also help me out and he has given me two more. So we've got two of these to give away to you lucky viewers and we will go further down with that and we'll tell you what to do. We just, you're going to have to put a comment and check their website out. Give them a shout out to Eli Koi. Thank you so much, Chris and Tracy. This is going to be helpful to, I think, to two ponds at least. Because now I think with the, the temperature picking up, like I have myself, I have battled blanket weed and I'm on day five of the treatment of this. I messed up the first take just because I had the microphone in the wrong place. So I will, you will see a cut off and I will look like I'm a bit fresher, <laughs> fresher trim. But, and the backy shower wasn't complete, but that was last week. I've got the backy shower up. It's been running like six days now. And the effect that that has had has been amazing. So this, uh, back to the product, the Blanket Weed Resolve, Aqua Source Resolve, made in Britain, St. Helens. And this one, you don't need to mix it in a bucket. You can you just sprinkle it around on your pond. You don't need to turn your UV off. It's friendly to uh, sturgeon, to plants, to goldfish, which I think is, is very helpful for those ponds that have sturgeons and plants. And I know a lot of the viewers, like you guys do have them. So that is, it is a good product too. So with the, the blanket we resolve, it, it reduces the phosphates, which um, help to for the blanket we grow, so it doesn't kill it off. It reduces that the environment for the blanket we to grow. And in my tempest, I've been seeing it working, just because I think that's a closed environment, so you get to see a bit more. But as this has gone in, it has like the blanket weed has died down on its own. Like it hasn't grown. I've been have to, I clean the nexus out every single day. And before I put this in, I used to get chunks of the blanket weed coming out. Now the water's still a bit green, but it. It's like it's killed it into finer particles, which was amazing. Uh, you don't need to turn your UV off. Um, it doesn't harm your filter bacteria. And also, as it says, it reduces phosphates. And it doesn't, and it's completely free of algicides, ammonium compound, and metal salts, which is a good thing. Uh, but you need to have a, a KH above two to use this. So if you have a KH below two, do buffer it up beforehand. The dosage is, um, 25 grams per 70, 750 liters, which is 165 gallons imperial. Um, it comes in, a, this is a 30,000 liter tub for one kilo. So I'm 10,400 near enough. So I, I use a third of it on the first sitting and on the second one, I'll do it the next third, which is they say after 10 days. So do check the product out. And what we really need you guys to do for um, this giveaway is do check out their website, elightkoi.co.uk. Give the video a thumbs up and check the channel out. And in the comment section, type in Elite Koi. That's it. We're just going to make about Elite Koi, really, isn't it? I'm going to give them a nice shout out just because they were so kind enough to give me two of these to give away. I paid for this one and I, and I got two sorted out. So win win, isn't it? But the product is good. Because from what I can see, I will show you, I'll try and we'll get closer up on that. Well, let me just show you now, like, the effect that it's had. It has been, it has been great. I know I haven't been making those videos, but look at the backy shower as well. Yeah, it's amazing. The effect that this backy shower has had on the pond, that like, has been so good. Just because it's cleaned out the water from the top of the skimmer, you can see it. It is... There's my skimmer, 
I've got the 30,000 litre per hour Awaze pump pulling on that. Just need to get the water level correct. At the moment, it just needs to be a little bit higher, I think. So I think this is the way that I'll be able to keep my trickle in out. My trickle in on, sorry. Because um, I think the media soaks some of the water up. So when I clean the Nexus in the morning, reduce the level a bit. So I've had to like, put the trickle in back on just to get it back up. And then the skimmer started making noise when it wasn't high enough. So I think I've got a solution for that. Um, fish are all looking magnificent. I've had trick and I've had fluke. Um, the Tancho poor girl has got um, two sores on it, which are, they're healing. I don't know if it'll come out of the video, but let's see if we can get closer. See that one there? And there's one exactly on the other side. They're not ulcers or nothing. I think I caught it just in the nick of time. I done a double dose of uh, FMG for the trick and um, I've treated with a fluke salt plus. That was all done beforehand, so everything is all clear now, which is amazing, like, thankfully. See that? I'll show you there. Sorry about the glare. I don't know that. See that? The, it, that was fully green. And it is just, it's just slowly, slowly dying off on its own, which is amazing. There you can see it. If I can shoot, there you can see it. So that is there. That's algae, I think. That's not a blanket weed. Yeah, but you get what I drift in it. It kills it off. It's like slowly starves it, which is a good thing on the product because it doesn't kill it off in a way that, from what I've been told, during pesticides, which it's not good. Look at that flow coming out of that. Amazing. Hopefully this is mature now. Hopefully I won't be turning it off until like ever now. Just need to find a way to cover it in the, the winter. That's my little one that I had to grow on. Getting bigger. Fish are looking fantastic. The appetite has gone up. Like it, that's been really nice to see like how, how they've been eating. Let me see if I can feed them on cue. I've been going to, I think, about 200 grams per liter a day. Because also, like, your the Nexus, the K1 relies on fish waste isn't it, to be alive. But I have to be careful how I throw it. I can't throw it all at once because the skimmer catches it. So I have to like throw it all slowly. I think that's one of the joys of being on a paternity leave is I've had the time to do like feed them properly, like on time, which has been great. Kogani Ochiba, amazing. Grew it from that much. I love that fish, like. That's an achievement. Fish, thank God, are doing all all right. The water has cleared out like so well. Like, see the the draw on the skimmer, it's amazing. Like, even without trees above, we got a lot of the, that blossom falling down. I kept, I still keep it covered. It's covered at night, so I, every night I come out clean my sheets, put them back on, and take them off in the morning. Yeah. So now I will cut to how I done the, how I put it in the pond. I'm sorry about the rustling in the video, it's just I had the mic in the wrong place. But then, it wouldn't be that kind of video if it wasn't me, innit? So this is it, aqua source. Blanket Weed Resolve. If you want to read that as well, which probably comes useful. It's good, it's like a white powder. And I think, for, for in my honest opinion, I think it's a great product, just because I've used it and the effect that it's had has been amazing. And in that um, Eli Koi WhatsApp group that there is, um, 
a few other people who have bigger and better ponds and better fish than I have, they use it, one, to uh, reduce the phosphates and two, to control the blanket weed. Because it's, I think the difference it has from clover leaf, I think clover leaf, it kills a blanket weed off. This, I think it starves it. That, I think, is the difference. I haven't myself tried out the clover leaf because the one I got, I gave away. So I might get a clover leaf one as well and just to see the difference that it, it will have. Because this, it is, when I put it in, you'll see it like coming up. Um, it didn't, it didn't cloudy it or make any effect straight away. It kind of like took about three, four hours and you can see it on the surface. I don't know if I've got the footage of that, but I will check it. Yeah. So there we go. Description box. It should contain all the information you need. Do check out their website, elightkoi.co.uk. In the comment section, drop in elightkoi to be in the chance of being one of the lucky viewers who will be getting one of these sent to them. So I'll show you also, but uh, we have done a bit of work. Let me show you that part as well in the garden. Just trying to get over storm Eunice and the destruction that it gave us. Enough of the jib jab, just to get with it. But I would also recommend if you're going to use it, wear gloves. All right, come on. Let's go on with this. We're going to hit one third. down to about think right there if you go there that's that's the whole package yeah, divide that that's one two and three should be all right isn't it give or take say if you've got a KH or two less than two that can buffer it up. I did say that I did read that correctly. Yeah so it will make a water a little bit cloudy three four days but that's normal. Yeah KH above two is recommended. So what this does is safe for sturgeon and it's, it's which is a good thing. A lot a lot of us guys us guys a lot of guys do have um Surgeons in their pond, not only the guys, also the ladies. Yeah. So we are nearly at a third. All right, that's one. One more for good luck. So that's the third done. And now we will wait it. See if it mixes. I have to put it mixes. I can ready. So that's what we've been busy with. Put on concrete panels all the way down to replace all those broken panels. I lost about five panels in the storm. I've replaced nine so far with these concrete ones. They weigh about 30 kilos each piece. So we had to lift them up. Two ladders, one at each side, lift them up, slot them down, cracked a few, yeah. but it'll do all right. And once the summer's in, to get more painted, Just waiting on a few more to come, and I can do that one. And from there, should be something else soon, hopefully. It looks all right, yeah. Fish are doing amazing because of, I think because of the, the backy shower, they seem much more happier so remember to comment Eli Koi for being in a chance of winning one or two of these
thank you to Eli Koi for being so helpful and giving me two of these to give away to you guys. So right now, thank you Chris, Tracy, all the staff. Do check out their website. And also, um, just wanted to thank each and every one of you for all the well wishes that you've given us on our beautiful baby daughter. We've received some amazing gifts like from the Koytuber community. Uh, hopefully I will put something out on that. I don't want to like keep pumping it too much. I know I've had a daughter and everyone has children, but we're so happy at the moment and positive energies around us. It's a true blessing. So I want to thank you all of each and every one of you for all your well wishes and you know who you are, the guys who've sent stuff to us. But thank you so much. It's been so appreciated by myself, my family. Thank you for the love. Um, as always, guys, keep uh, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, keep sharing the channel, subscribing. If you're new, welcome. Welcome to my pond. Um, Stay locked to the channel because I've got another few more giveaways lined up, which will be coming out soon. A uh, couple other things I will be getting done, so stay locked to the channel. And as always, guys, thank you. That's the People's Pond, over and out.